All right, do we have audio? We do. What is going on, everybody? As you can see, I'm wearing my Joan shirt, the one that Joan gave us. I completely forgot I was going live today, and I usually wear my Goody Reader shirt, but it is what it is. I'm going to mute my phone, mute my PC, and get this started. Hello, Mom. Oh, yeah, guess what? I got into the office this morning. Going to do some filming. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know if you guys even know what's going on here, but you can't find this at any of the American stores in Japan, and they don't even what well, they don't even sell it in America, so that's not even accurate. You can't get it at the import stores, and you can't even buy it in the states at through legitimate retail locations like Walmart, Walgreens, etc. If I show this to anyone in Japan, they're gonna be like, "What the hell is that? This is so rare." So this is good stuff. Thank you, mom. I got the package, so we're all good. What are we talking about today, everyone? This is the iReader Smart Four, and why this is so interesting is because I forgot my Wacom pen in the other in in the in the studio. So while there's only a few people watching, I'm going to drop the top down, and you guys can just look at that in all of its glory while I run to the other room and get a Wacom pen. And now I am back in action. Sorry about that. So this is the Smart 4. If you guys don't know iReader by now, iReader is a manufacturer out of mainland China. They have been around for over a decade. These guys are no joke. They've been around for quite some time. Hello, Hao Kelly. Good morning from Hong Kong. They've been around for quite some time. And these guys, they, they had a lot of firsts. And they had a lot of, have. They still have a lot of accolades. And basically, they started selling the smart a few generations ago and they're on their fourth gen now this thing is really really high quality i'd start you off with this because it was already on here they have blackboard mode not inverted mode throughout the entire system but blackboard mode which actually means it turns it into this kind of boogie board thing and it's easier on the eyes than looking at a pure white surface and already e-ink e is easy on the eyes as it is but that's really nice how they give you this option you can go back to blank if you'd like like that and continue writing they have a bunch of different pens they have pencil they have ball pen brush marker and six different colors three of the colors hello janine three of the colors are red green and blue so as you mark it up like that that'll be red when you export etc etc so it's not going to be red on the page because it's not color now the biggest draw about this unit I, i'm not even joking are these little things right here these are physical page turn buttons i don't want to undersell that there are no 10.3s Let's go over the 10.3s with, with page turn buttons. 10.3 is Hanvon N10. Yet yeah, uh, here, let's make a little let's make a little grid here. Uh now nah, I don't want to make a grid. I'll just go like this. So let's get an eraser here. Range eraser. Let's go like that. Back to the pen. So this is page turn button. Yes, they have page turn buttons, the pocketbook, Inkpad X. Yes, it has page turn buttons, but no Wacom, no Wacom. Oh, Argentina, hello, Fassi. The only device is this one right here. The Smart 4 is the only device in the world with an e-paper screen that has a 10.3 inch with Wacom. You might be saying, what about the Likebook Mimas? You're right, it is 10.3. It is... Wacom, but that's uh, that's 2018, the Mimas. And then you might say, what about the Remarkable One? Sure, the Remarkable One. Again, that's 2018, 2019, and both of those, yes. The oldies have the RM1 and the Mimas are both Wacom and Page Turns. But they're they're really old now. They're five years old. They they don't even sell them. They haven't sold them for three three and a half years. So they're all gone. The biggest thing now is this. Also, 
If you're worried about where you get your content, don't be because you simply just go to your bookshelf and everything you sideload in is instantly categorized for you. Everything is instantly categorized. And if you want further categorization, you go to the file manager and everything's in there. You can even go to music and it has a dedicated music player on board. Which I must say has very high quality sound. Does the iReader Smart and the iReader Neo, the smaller ones, have good sound? Not really. They're only one speakers. They're they're kind of one trick pony kind of things. This one has stereo speakers. It has a high quality sound output, I must say, which is also good for TTS and other things. Unfortunately, and fortunately in a way, it is running Android, but it's not Android to the point where you can do anything outside of what's here. You have your notebook, you have your dictionary, you have file import, you have music, that's it. You cannot install apps, it won't let you. But anything you download from anywhere will allow you to use it properly. So you can do, there's a snap, oh, there you go. You can swipe the pages like that. The manga experience is great and you can draw on nearly anything. If you go back, how do you go back? I can never remember. Tap in the middle, back at the top. This does not support gestures, so you can't swipe from the bottom up. That's mostly reserved for Android devices that have typical Android. If you go to PDFs, you can, right here, you can do pinch and zoom like that. Zoom it in and start making your notes and go like this. Okay, that's got to remember that and underline that. There you go. And then zoom back out and away you go. So very fluid experience for something that doesn't have speed modes. Now you got to really give it to them on this one. They don't have speed modes. That's saying a lot. If we go back to notes for a second, the typical Android device will at least, sorry, the typical eNote will at least have A2 mode. What that means is Let's go undo, undo, oh, and undo. There we go. Devices always have normal or HD and then speed modes. So you'll find everything. Onyx, MeBook. I'm not going to list them all. Just one more. High sense. Exactly how Kelly doesn't need one, but it does have them, which is kind of cool. Onyx, oh man, depending on the unit, they can have five or their Mira has 27 speed modes. I'm not even joking. Dasong has a ton of speed modes. Hisense has four speed modes. MeBook has at least two speed modes. So A2, uh, normal, just call it HD and then A2. iReader on one of their devices I don't even know if it's here. Actually, let's let's look at it because actually one of them had a hidden speed mode. I'm going to show you right now, actually. I'm going to go to my phone because uh, occasionally I converse with them on, uh, what do you call, um, WeChat. So I'm going to go to, where are they? I can't show you the actual chat just because there's sensitive information in there with um, you know product releases and stuff like that. But they actually do. How do you search media? I don't even know how to search media on this, honestly. I don't use WeChat a lot. They actually, oh, here it is. Oh, I actually found it. Okay, look at this. No joke. Let's focus in on that. So on their smart air, they had normal mode, fast mode, and extreme mode. I'm just going to go back a sec. And yes, they said it's not yet implemented, but that was a couple devices ago, granted. So actually, I don't even remember where it is. Let's look for it because everything's in English now. I think it might be under display. Oh, yeah, I should mention iReader is one of the first companies to pioneer IMG256 or Grayscale256 or image enhancement. So you can see here when you deal with things like a heavy grayscale gradient, sorry, that goes from dark gray to light gray, you get these slats dividing each respective color or each respective grade is terrible it looks like it looks like crap it just looks like a staircase so you toggle it on or off and it becomes smooth they said there's no drawback to this there's no additional battery it utilizes there's no fuzzing there's no slowdown so it begs the question like why do you allow us to toggle it off and on they i don't understand that because onyx doesn't allow you to toggle it it's built in but companies like mebook they allow you to toggle it so we're not sure why they have a no comprom. Oh my God. Oh, I just heard a huge bee by my window. I thought it was inside the room. No joke. Holy crap. Sorry. Uh, I got a lot of funky bugs over here, man. Uh, sorry. What was I saying? Yeah. So they, you gotta, you gotta wonder why 
some manufacturers build it into the device like Hisense and Onyx, but then there's some that allow you to turn it off. There would be no reason you would ever turn it off because when you turn it off, you get more of a kind of pixelated viewing experience. It's less smooth. It's less kind of refined. So I'm not honestly sure why you would ever want to turn that off. So where is this speed mode? I, I swear to goodness they had... They had a speed mode somewhere on here. I think they removed it or something prior to the last update because I I showed it to them and I said, Killer Hornets, they got them. It's not a joke. I, when I first uh, kind of came here, 2015, I said, oh, look at that. It's a big red, big noticeably red bee that I could see from like 30 feet away. It's red. And I was like, oh, you just kind of swat them away if they come by? He's like, no, you should run. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's wildly different than uh, just swatting them away. But sure, thanks. Yeah, so I believe I have updated and it is now gone. But that picture still stood that they did have some implemented. Oh, I know where it is. I think it's here. There it is. Oh, yeah, you can do the waveform stuff like this. Okay, here, let's finish that up. Oh, how do you get out of here? I'll explain what this is in a second. Okay, there we go. So, ooh. Ooh, how do I get back? Ah, the good old... Nope. Uh-oh. There we go. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay, this is bad. This is completely my fault. This is completely my fault. Okay, I'm in the... Um... I don't know how to get out of here. This is the uh, the the back end. Um, okay, go like that. There we go. Okay, what this is is the dev options. All Android devices have it. If you tap on a certain, uh, yeah, Hong Kong has them too. Yep, yeah, kind of roughly the same um, uh, parallel in the world for thirty uh, fifth parallel, thirtieth parallel. Uh, what this is is you can actually control various things like the EPD, the light, and I'll have a couple pages of such. This is for developers. If you tap the number yeah i gotta finish it i know <laughs> thanks dimas if you tap the uh um i serial uh, not serial number a uh, system hardware system number what you know it's different on every device if, if you have smartphones you tap certain i think android version you get into the dev options i don't think it's here either epd no no uh it was somewhere but uh yeah that that'll kind of show itself later on in um the world of when we get into things but uh yeah for the most part it has been a little bit of an unknown as to why they have speed modes but don't allow you to access them and don't allow you to even use them and when we ask about them they say that it's not it's not for you and it's like well it was discoverable so that's kind of strange but either way this is a very high quality unit it like um who said that hal Kelly says it doesn't need speed modes you're completely right now Something about these buttons as well. Technically, they're not just physical page turn buttons, although they can be. You can key map them to anything you want. For example, look, I have them quick keyed to light on, light off, and global refresh. So why this is important is because if you go here to the settings and you go to Generale, I think. Yes, customize button. That's really nice. This is really cool. I, I love this feature. Look at that. You can change it to return. You can change it to next page, previous page, global refresh, on and off, and a combination of those six things through each of the buttons. So what that means is that these are not only physical page turn buttons, but they can be anything you want. I'm just going to see if it's in here really quick. Smart assistant, maybe? Come on, give me some speed modes, man. It isn't. That's uh, where you change your apps, basically. You have US book import as well. Man, I really wish I saw that on this unit, the speed modes. Again, yeah, this is, you know, it's hard to kind of categorize this unit. It is an E note. And they have a couple apps as a pleasantry there, some Baidu stuff, some file transfers in between your PC, and then they give you a music player with stereo speakers. So it's like. And why we kind of call it a scribe killer is for fun, because when you look at the note taking experience, it's kind of not even close. So on an on an Amazon, you get you get like a pencil, you get a highlighter with a like a chisel tip and then you get what an eraser. Right. And then you get like, you know, band touch. But this is just insane. You get so much more things here you get. And actually, this is the only company that has shaping. This is the only one. So for example, if I make a circle 
and it looks like crap, it's going to fix it for me. If I make a square and it's not 100%, there's little lines everywhere, it's going to smooth it out. It doesn't do what the super note does, I don't think. Let's try it. I don't think it does a star. Nah, it does a circle. But it does everything else, which is kind of weird. I don't know why it wouldn't do a star. And you draw a line and it makes the line kind of, I, okay, I think it, I think it thought I did like a clock hand like that. There we go. It's really nice. I love shaping, honestly. It, it, this is separate from shapes, I must add. Shapes is different. So if I wanted to do a diamond in gray, that's my shape. Oh yeah, that's right, guys. It also fills it. Look at this. You can do fill. So if I wanted to do black circle, it made a black circle. Look at that. I don't think anyone does that either because most of them default to transparent. You can then color it in or fill it in with various uh, onboard UI elements. But for the most part, it is set in stone at that. So, oh, and also, man, the templates these guys have. Let's see. I think they have, they got, they got a lot of templates. That's right. These, these are the guys that have a ton. So just in this one alone, although I don't know why those are still in Chinese. Hal Kelly might be able to read those because I can read a little bit. That says like make the... Uh, that says like you know school or 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 you know something along the student uh, talk you know it doesn't really cross over into Chinese a lot of the time but it's close. There's four pages just on this one tab. And then you go over to the second tab and there's another four pages and then you go to the third tab. And then so there's a lot here and some of them are hosted. You can see here they're in the cloud. You have to download them. But there's some pretty extensive templates here, guys. So look at this thing. Oh, it added 75 pages to my thing. That's crazy. So you get get yourself a calendar. What's on the next page? I don't even know. 2021. Cool. You get some little check marks. This thing is... Oh, hey, Mike. What's up? And yeah, this thing is really nice. It's very smooth. Peter's here. Yep. Mike is here. Boom. You get Dima. Oh, whoa, what's... Oh, it's still on shaping. Oh, no. <laughs> it's doing all the shapes. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. What happens if I do, like, a figure eight? Will it do it? Ah, circles. Oh, damn place. Yeah, I'm still on shaping, guys. Sorry. You can turn that off and go back to pen and stuff like that. Dimas is here. And who else we got? Hal Kelly is here. Fossey is here. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool. I like it. It's got a lot of features. It's got even more here. You got text. You got layers. You got record. You get transfer text. Transfer text is good. I'm not gonna bother with this new one here. Let's get a new. Let's get a new one here going on, guys. Let's. I think blank is on the second page. Where the hell is blank? Oh jeez. Oh man. I don't know. Okay, we'll just use this one. We'll make a new page and we will say, "Hey there." That's enough. And then we go here and we go to text. It should be pretty quick. I believe it's it's a fairly quick one. See, six seconds, that's not bad. If you didn't do your spacing properly, you can always edit after the fact. Click on there, click on here, space it out, whatever you want to do. Or you can change from in-suite recognition to rearrange recognition, which means it is justified. And then from there, you can tap there and continue on with the keyboard and even talk into it and start typing. So it has why it is an Amazon Slayer, not from the perspective of the ecosystem. Guys, Amazon is the best ebook store in the world. They have everything. It's not me advocating for them, but they have millions of books, editorials, newspapers, a bit about a boom. They have everything. iReader also has an amazing bookstore. In fact, they're so big that other manufacturers like Hisense and the WeChat phone from Tencent use the iReader store for their content. But 98% of it is in Chinese. Uh, I forget how to write that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So 98% of it is in Chinese. Whereas you'll find some English content, some Portuguese content, some Spanish content. Actually, you know, I'll just show you. The, the iReader store is a massive store. It is huge. It's just we can't really take full advantage of it because it's like, look at this. Future stories. I click on that. It's just going to be Chinese. And you go free trial. Dive into a book. It's very fast. It's very refined. Everything's very nice. You, you, get, you get all the services that it offers. You can buy things. You can try things. There you go, David Christian, and it's Chinese. So, you know, if you are if you read Mandarin or you want to read Chinese, I mean, boom, it's perfect. But 
you know, you just can't do anything with it. But yeah, the store is great. So anyways, why it is labeled as a scribe killer is because the hardware is better. It's faster. It has more features. It has physical page turn buttons. It has key mappable buttons and it has onboard audio and it has more storage and it's just overall a better package the pen is better the screen looks nicer everything's so good but then can't download anything so from an ecosystem standpoint no it's not better than the scribe by any means but if from a one moment please Sorry about that. But from a perspective of hardware, it is significantly higher quality. It has, and the, the note taking section is an absolute no compromise. It is so good in comparison to what the Amazon offers. And that's the biggest downfall with the Amazon Kindle Scribe right now is that they don't give you any features. They give you three things. How can you have a note taking device that simply just does not have any features on it is is, is mind-boggling to us whereas this is very refined very nice it's very fast it's very crisp it's clean it feels good the pen's great the screen is you get that night look at that look at that beautiful texture on the screen and again you guys might say oh it's an e-note it does what it does well if you're here you're watching then you really care about this kind of stuff the combination between the graphite felt tip composite and the softness of the screen and you get that feedback that just verberates through the first third of the pen into your fingertips it all matters and it's all very real now some people say they like writing on an ipad and that's totally fair i mean it's a it's a subjective thing because basically if you want a smoother experience versus a more realistic experience it's up to the individual user some people like drawing on an ipad i i personally don't it feels very smooth and slippery this one has a lot of grip it feels like i'm writing on an actual piece of paper which i very much appreciate that iReader went as far to do that remember guys this is no slouch this is on their fourth gen this is their fourth generation. They've refined this by the third generation, the iReader Smart 3. This one is on their fourth gen. It is, I, you know what, I, I'm, I'm not, we're not paid by these guys. You know, we're not trying to say iReader's, you know, the best in the game, but it's an overlooked brand and it's an overlooked entry. The iReader Smart 4 is so good that we want to bring awareness for the sake of bringing awareness because there's a lot of players in the game that don't hit this level of quality. It's a nice package. It feels good in the hand. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. And it has an overall really solid build. It's also 10.3. Comes with a pen when you purchase it. It's it's a great package. It is available from our site. We are a, um, a distributor of theirs. And... Uh, there's really nothing more to say about it. Now, we'll, we'll go really quick over to something else because we only have a couple minutes left. Yes, we did say we would get you guys the galley today, but unfortunately, we talked to Bigney and we said, you know, we've been waiting for our update for quite some time now. What is going on with the galley? When they sent this to us, this was a um, prototype model that we cannot actually update. So what that means is that we can't actually put the latest software on this because it's not supported. This is the Goody Reader X Big Me Galley that they sent us that we were kind of going back and forth with on our, uh, proto not our prototype stage, but our development stage. So this basically means that this one is not really capable. This particular one. The galley in general is capable of OTA, which is over-the-air update. This one is not. So we can't show it to you until we actually get the new units landed to us, which we are getting a box of from uh, our distributors at Big Me, at which point we will be able to do the update. That's basically it, guys. We're at 25 minutes. I think we'll wrap it up. iReader is a great brand. We really wish they had more of an international presence, which they're slowly getting to because we talked to them for many years and we finally got them to put English on it. Yes, we did. I'm sorry. We don't want to toot our own horns, but we got the WeChats and the Zoom calls to prove it. We said, look, guys, it's very critical that you guys put English on your units if you want to be a player on the main stage. That's critical. And they've... they've They've uh, uh, agreed to do so, and they did, and they backlogged all of their updates all the way back to the C6, which they were the first to do color in the modern age in 2019. So they, they kicked off color in the whole Kaleido world of everything. They currently don't have any Kaleido entries, which is kind of weird because they have four 
devices right now in a full line manufacturer, but they don't have any actual Kaleido screens, which I found a little bit weird how they're on the Smart Air and the Ocean 3 and the Smart 4 and the Neo. And it's like, you guys are on a, a, a collective of 11 gens of devices throughout your lineup. Why aren't you putting color on anything? And they have no comment on that, which is weird because they skipped over Kaleido 2 because they did Kaleido 1, which looked like blue. And they skipped over 2 and they're like, uh, Kaleido 3, no. Uh, gallery? No. Uh, don't really know what's going on there. But from a black and white standpoint, top-notch stuff. Um, I think hardware-wise, personal, I personally think it's better than the Scribe. It's better than the Scribe. And it has a better note-taking uh, system. Would I use this as an e-reader over the Kindle? No, it's, Kindle's got all my books. Would I, would I use this as a portal to read my content and store my content and read my books and stuff? And no, because the Kindle's just, it's better. It's cloud stored. I have trials from massive big name authors and publishers and stuff like that. It's just no contest. It's kind of a split decision between ecosystem and hardware software. They're, they, they, they're, there's not one that does it all, except technically for Onyx, because on the Onyx, it's better than the iReader, and you can just download the Kindle app, and you get all your stuff. So that's really the answer to, you know, I just found my own answer there. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. My mom, Hal Kelly, Janine Field, Fasi Gustavo, Dimas Hendra, Courtney Bowman, and Michael K. I will see you guys next week. We have lives. We are so backlogged with the amount of devices we have right now. Looking over there, looking over here, look at the freaking galley just waiting here. Hey, can you show me? No, not yet. So we have a ton of stuff coming. I don't think we're going to be doing lives on like the Mudita Harmony, the E-Ink Clock, unless you guys really want to see that, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Going to have some ketchup chips <laughs> and uh, see you next week. Till next one. Oh, that's not end. I got to do this. There we go. Oh, and J.C.T. Singh.